New Super Mario Bros. Wii has nine worlds for you to explore, but if you don't feel like stomping Goombas through nine entire worlds, you can use two warp cannons to skip ahead all the way to level eight. All you have to do to unlock the cannons is find them. Easier said than done, but after watching this video, it'll be as simple as kidnapping a princess. The first cannon is unlocked in World 1-3. Move through the level and pick up Yoshi along the way. You'll need him to reach the warp cannon. Guide Yoshi through the level to the fire-spinning piranha plant. Just past that plant, you'll see a chunk of ground above you. Hop up there, and to your right, you'll find a hidden stash of coins. Most players are willing to take the coins and run, but go back to the ledge. Jump up and to the right. You won't be able to see Mario or Yoshi, but they'll make it up to the next platform. Keep pressing right on your controller, and you'll get them into an invisible pipe. On the other side, you'll find a few coins and a red flag that ends the level and unlocks the cannon. Back on the overworld, all you have to do is walk over to the cannon, drop down into it, and you'll be launched to World 5. The second cannon is located right here in World 5. To unlock it, you'll have to work your way through four levels to the Ghost House. Once inside, your first order of business is to pick up a light. Now, drop down and head to your right. Jump over the gap and go up the stairs. Jump the next gap, then go down to the next one. Go to your left and drop your light and enter the door. Once inside, flip the switch to light up the moving blocks. Hop onto this block and ride it to the next light. Move to your right and you'll see two more moving blocks. There's a ghost here and he'll make maneuvering on the blocks difficult. The ghost will move toward you when your back is turned and stop when you're looking at him. So turn around and lure him toward you. When he's in a spot where he won't bother you, look at him to freeze him in place. Now, ride the moving blocks to the door on your right. Be careful jumping onto the blocks, because they're a little bit slippery. The last room has a ring of ghosts. There's a single ghost missing from the formation, so use that space to jump into the ring. Once inside the ring, use the same space to jump out and toward the flagpole. Now it's a simple matter of going to the cannon, dropping into it, and arriving in World 8. You're only two worlds away from rescuing Princess Peach.